hi and welcome to my channel so if you're currently applying for jobs in the uk especially those visa sponsorship jobs and you're getting unfortunate emails it can be very heartbreaking and so in today's video i'm going to talk about three of the biggest reasons why thousands of people are getting unfortunate emails at the moment and indeed what you can do to change this from now hence so if you're new to my channel you're obviously welcome if you are a returning subscriber as usual I absolutely appreciate your time and I do hope that you are implementing the things that I'm talking about. So if you're watching this and you've been applying for jobs in the UK, I want to leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me more or less how many jobs have you applied for so far since you started your UK journey. Whether you're in the UK or you're out of this amazing country, leave a comment in the comment section below. Are you facing any challenges? What is really going on? And so let me tell you one thing that I like about, you know, these three reasons and why I'm sharing them with you. The first reason is something that is very, very common. Many people are not even aware that that's a mistake that they are making. Reason number two is something that is very unfortunate. And reason number three is the most important of all of these. And so if you haven't joined this family, take this opportunity right now to hit the subscribe button below so that you're the first person that is notified every single day when I drop a new video on here at 10am prompt UK time. If you're watching this and you need to contact me directly, you're sad that you're thinking, Melvis, I'm sick and tired of this journey. I have struggled so much on my own. I need guidance. I need support. I need mentorship. I need that hand-holding. Then do check the comment section below and you're going to see my contact details on there. There's my WhatsApp number as well as my email address and you can contact me directly for that support i'm gonna tell you that there's no easy way out all of it requires work but it is worth it in the end and if you're somebody who is ready to put in the work then contact me if you're thinking oh melvis i don't want to do any work i just want the easy way out no point contacting me because let me tell you it requires work to do things legally and to be in this country in a way that is befitting, most importantly, progressing in your career. Because for me, my motto in the UK is to work less, earn a lot of money and get to retire early. My goal is to retire before I turn 40. Yes. <laughs> and I'm so pleased because I've put in a lot of hard work in the last 20 years to be able to achieve this. So let's get right into option number one and by the way if you want to join my free newsletter check the comment section below you see a link there to join you drop your name and email it won't take you 20 seconds and you're part of the newsletter so that i send information such as this you know free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the uk or switch if you're already here with your family ways that you can remain in the uk or move with your dependents nhs jobs apprenticeships getting into nursing healthcare related you're switching your student visa you're trying to avoid that postgraduate visa that is so ridiculously expensive or you're looking for career progression opportunities i'm your girl so again i send that info directly to your inbox as it becomes available so what is the first option or the first reason, by the way. The first reason why this is happening to so many people is that you're applying for jobs that you are not eligible to apply for. Look, all UK jobs are not the same. For example, if you're from a red list country, you're not allowed to apply through a recruitment agency. And the thing is that many vacancies online are recruitment agencies. So if you put in your application, they're going to say to you, Melvis is unfortunate. We do not offer visa sponsorship or we do not recruit overseas workers. That is just because you, you are applying through recruitment agencies. So how do you solve this problem? You solve this problem by being able to differentiate between a recruitment agency and a normal company. So it is your duty, therefore, as a candidate to make sure you can differentiate the two. If you're not able to differentiate this, you're going to really struggle. Because if you find out that in the last six months, you're only applying for jobs through recruitment agencies, you would not have had any job anyway if you come from a red list country. So this is a challenge. And if you want me to do a video to explain the whole concept about the red list countries, leave a comment in the comment section below so that I know that if you're interested, I can explain what this red list country is. You can also leave a comment with which country are you from? And I can tell you, is your country included in the red list or is it exempted from this? Because this is a massive thing that many people are not aware of. If you're from a red list country and you're applying this way, or you get uh, unfortunate emails. And if you're part of my private coaching program, this is something that I go on about in a lot of detail. During our live session this week on Thursday, we're going to really hammer hard on this again 
to go through a lot of detail because we've got lots of new people that have joined the program recently and they are really falling for this and that's what even prompted me to share this video because i'm experiencing it a lot with the people that are new in my private coaching program so thursday this week we're starting at 8 30 p.m uk time and we're going to focus on those red list countries how do you differentiate a recruitment agency from a normal company and indeed what do you do next so we will focus on that and if you're all sitting and thinking, Melvin, is this coaching program? <laughs> what is it all about? If you check the description box below or the about section of this channel, you're going to see info about the private coaching program. I'm going to tell you now before you check it that it's only for the top 1% of people that like me are interested and invested in their personal and professional development. If you're somebody who is just out to watch video after video after video on YouTube, then carry on that program isn't for you if you're sick and tired of those unfortunate emails you want that support you're ready to move to the next step you're looking to switch to the nhs you're looking to switch from a student visa you're already in the uk or you're back home and you're thinking melvis how do i get started then it's going to be perfect for you you get samples for supporting information you get one-to-one -one reviews you get one-to-one -one interview preparation just the entire shabam so like I say, check it out. Or you can contact me, by the way. I know that there are some people who are like, hey, Melvis, I need to talk to you. What is in this for me personally? That's fine. Feel free to contact me. I don't mind at all. And if you're watching this and you've got any relatives or, you know, any colleagues currently applying for jobs, do share this with them so that they are aware of these three terrible things that are currently not just helping people that are looking for visa sponsorship. So number two is you don't know the job you're applying for yes because people just hear that hey the uk is recruiting carers and if you say to them what is a carer what does a carer do what is a carer job let me tell you they've got no idea and one thing is that you cannot succeed in something that you do not understand hmm. you cannot succeed in something that you do not understand so you need to take time to understand what job are you applying for what is needed for that job? Have you got the required skills, the knowledge, the experience, the qualifications? What is needed? Because there are some carer jobs that require specific qualifications. Some don't. But simply saying a carer job is an umbrella name and it doesn't actually mean anything. For me, in case if you're not aware and it's our first time meeting, I am an advanced nurse practitioner at the moment, which is the most senior clinical nursing job in the profession. But I started my journey 13 years ago in the UK, I was working as a carer in a nursing home. So I've done domiciliary care. I've done support work. I've done living. I've done the NHS. I've worked as a healthcare assistant, student nurse. I mean, I've gone through those processes before getting to this position. So I empathize with people that are not aware of what these jobs are. And all they're looking for is visa sponsorship. You need to really get to understand what a job is inside out in order to increase your chances of success. Again, during our live session, we're going to go deep into this. And that's why when I talk to you one-to-one, -one, I say to you, which job are you looking for? You're like a carer job. I'm like, yeah, what do you mean carer job? Because there's no such thing as care a job i mean we can talk about it for understanding sake but when you're looking at applying for jobs each one is very specific and very different from the other this is something that many people are struggling with and if you don't have that insider knowledge you're like hey you know these care jobs what do they need and you don't know let me tell you something it's gonna be very difficult to succeed and this is why many people are tempted to use third party people that they themselves may not even understand the processes and then you get to the uk you're like hey is this what the job is about <laughs> i had no idea <laughs> it's just not for me mm -mm. you need to know what a job is because you're dealing with vulnerable people you're supporting people and you need to embrace what the job is about you need to make sure that you know what it is about before you step in so that's reason number two you're applying for a job that you don't know what it's about it's difficult for you to succeed because if you don't know how are you going to progress and if you're enjoying this content, by the way, I want you to hit that like button below. It lets me know that I enjoy content like this and obviously I should do more of it. But, but if you haven't subscribed to this channel, like are you for real? <laughs> hit the subscribe button because you want to be notified tomorrow when I drop a new video on here. And remember, like I said, if you want to know which countries are included in the red list or what this even means, leave a comment in the comment section below. And I promise you, I'm going to drop that video tomorrow about the red list countries that is a promise i'm making to you if i see any comments in the comment section about red list i am going to drop that video tomorrow to better explain this whole red list brouhaha 
And so the last and the third of these options, and the most important one is that maybe you're not even from a Red East country or you are, maybe you even know what the job's about, but guess what? The CV, the application, the interview, all of that needs to be on point. Hmm. Because someone like me, I do interviews for various jobs, various organizations. And if you don't know what it's about, you're not going to get a job. I can tell you that now. So if you're applying for a job, when I look at your CV, I should be like, oh my goodness, Melvis, you're exactly who we need for this job. Many candidates, when I look at their CVs, I'm like, is this a CV you've been using for two years to apply for jobs? <laughs> no doubt you had no interview. Even if you do get an interview, <laughs> you're not going to get a job offer. So you need to be very, very intentional about your CV. That is the only thing that they have to assess you of. That is the only thing that you've got to showcase your sweetness and how amazing you are in that job. They are not able to see you to say, hey, look, I'm very good. This is what I can do. That's not going to take place. So you need to be able to translate that goodness to really reflect and ooze out on your CV or your application, whatever that may be. If you're not able to do that, it will be a struggle. So again, how is your CV? I, again, I have people who say to me, Melvis, I've got all the requirements. Get, look, girl, I've got everything that is needed. The only thing I need is a job. I'm like, no, you're missing the one thing that you need because all you need is a job. There's no such thing as I've got all requirements. Or, you know, the only thing I need is, a, no, you've got the wrong things. You need to get a job and then, you know, you can be like, hey, look, I'm sorted. So again, what do you think about these three points? Like I say, they are all very important. All of them are very important. But point number three is the most important. So if you've watched this and you know what point number three is, I want you to leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I know number three. You know point number three because that's going to be the biggest thing. And one tip, by the way, because you've watched it till now, you need to make sure that you're tailoring your CV, your application to the job, not the other way around. You're not tailoring it to yourself because guess what? No one cares about who you are as a person. They are looking for what you're able to bring to the organization. This is something that is massive. This is something that job seekers don't understand. And this is what has helped me to be successful in every single interview that I've had in the UK that has helped me to progress from a carer to an advanced nurse practitioner in a very short time because I am obsessed with jobs. I'm obsessed with job applications. I'm obsessed with CVs. I'm obsessed with putting information and I'm obsessed with interviews. You need to make sure everything is on sleek. Everything is on point. Have you got any questions? Leave that in the comment section below. If you need to contact me, like I said, check the com comment section. You're going to see my contact details. Check this out for more info. I'll see you here.